Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you may be in the world. Today I'm going to show you more of my Chanel bags and we're starting off with a collectible bag that is the Chanel heart bag. Now this was the it bag in 2022, I think it's spring summer 2022 and they were nearly all pre-ordered. You couldn't get one in a Chanel boutique anywhere for love or money. And they were selling for crazy prices, you know, on websites, consignment stores, eBay, all the rest of them. My advice to you, if you want this sort of bag that's a knit bag of a particular season, just wait. Because the first six to 12 months after their release, prices will go sky high, they'll be ridiculous. And then six to 12 months later, people will go, oh gosh, I don't know why I spent all that money on that bag because I haven't even used it, so I might as well sell it. Prices will go down. Originally, these were selling in Australia on the consignment sites for, I think, about twelve and a half, thirteen thousand dollars $13,000. I've no idea how much they were in the Chanel boutique, but I ended up paying 8500 for this 12 months later, so it's worth waiting. Patience pays off in the collector's game. Anyway, yes, oh, before I do that, I should show you. On the back, we have the little Chanel exterior pocket, the little Mona Lisa smile pocket. There is, oops, take the felt off. There's a pocket on the front. Oops. Get a bit closer. The pocket on the front here looks quite small. Beautiful lambskin. It really, really is lovely. With champagne gold hardware. And it has a little heart on the zip pull there. It's lovely. It's I can't really show you the inside of that, but the inside of the pocket here is lined in burgundy grow grain. It's a charming little bag, it really is. Totally impractical, if you ask me. I mean, I don't know, you could put a few bits and pieces in. I don't think you could get a phone in there unless you had a flip phone. Okay, so in the interior, it's lined in burgundy fabric and it has two, two slip pockets, one this side and one the other side. Let's see if I can show you if I bring that closer there. Okay, there's one pocket there and the other one just here. These pockets are in leather, which is slightly odd that, you know, the lining of the bag is fabric, a grow grain and the pockets are in leather, however. It's a gorgeous little bag. I mean, you could, you know, nice for an evening out, I suppose. I mean, if you've got a flip phone, you'd be fine with this, as long as you don't want to carry too much around with you. But for me, it's definitely a collector's item and I just love it because I think it's cute. And yeah, I've been trying to track down the lilac sort of purple one in the large size like this. I haven't found one yet, but I will. I'm hunting for one. So that is the last of my collectible bags that I don't use. Now I'll start showing you the bags that I do use fairly regularly. I'll just go and get one. Okay, so the next bag that I have to show you is a small Gabrielle in purple, my favourite colour. Not with the beautiful hardware, just with a standard hardware. Even though it's not the beautiful multicoloured mermaid hardware, that is a mouthful, I still love the combination of metals on here. You know, the ruthenium, the silver and the gold. Really lovely. I don't, I don't know why they stopped making these bags. I suspect they were quite, quite expensive to make. 
you know you've got the molded base at the back here that's covered in calf skin this is lamb skin and as i think i said in my last video day two of my chanel bags which will be up here or over there somewhere if you want a small gabrielle to use i mean i i use this one quite a lot try and get a chevron one because they they keep their shape better this has been used oh, for two years fairly regularly hasn't lost any shape at all just remember don't store it with all the chains sitting on top of the back because that weight will push it down but they're so much more sturdy than the quilted ones the small size is it's it's a little bit of an operation to get inside you know you can see it doesn't sort of give very much i think i have a bag organizer in this one which indeed i do there's the um little key thing again why do they keep putting those in Does, do you use one if you use one, please let me know in the comments down under because I, I have never used it for anything. I just find it to be a total nuisance. Anyway, there is, whoops, I just mind the hardware out of the way. Oh, so difficult to open these bags so you can see inside. There's a slip pocket here. Sorry, hardly going to be able to see anything. My apologies. And a zip pocket along this side i think you can just about see it there and it's a lovely little chunky cc on the zip pull just there you can see how thick it is it's a beautiful little bag it really is just like i said it's just a bit difficult to get in and out of. It's a bit like the, the old lady Dior's, you know, the ones that had the zips, you know, that you used to sort of rip your hands to shreds when you were putting your hand in and out of them. Thankfully, I don't have one of those anymore. Anyway, that is one of my favorite little bags, purple, small Gabrielle chevron bag. I'm just about to show you a large version of this so you can compare the two sizes if you are thinking of buying one. So I'll just go and get the larger one. I think I forgot to tell you what year the purple one was that was 2019. This one, which look, I, I don't know if you call it the medium or the large. Chanel for some time called, the called it the medium, Gabrielle, and then they started calling it the large one. I I've never seen one that's larger than this anyway. I mean, it is a fair size. This one was 2018-19. Again, it's in the chevron, so it's kept its shape beautifully. This is so much more practical. I mean... You can actually get into the bag. I'll show you a close up. See, you can see the two two slip pockets there. And on, whoops, swinging zip pull in the way. On this side, we've got a zipped pocket there. Whoops, that's better. With the red lining, it's not. I think it is actually grow grain. I wasn't sure, but I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure it is grow grain. It's very hard wearing. I love this bag. You know that it's it's a slightly aged calf skin. It's not that total sort of aged look where it's very very wrinkled, but it has got that slight distressed look which I think is great because it makes bags very forgiving. And this one is just, oh, it's a dream. I love this bag. 
I'll show you how it sits on me. So it's a perfect height there. And if I put the purple one on the other shoulder, you'll be able to see the difference in size, hopefully, which is substantial. That's the small one in front of the medium or large one, whichever one it is. It's a shame they stopped making this bag because it really is a great bag, this one. I love the firm base. A lot of people don't like that, but it's just great. You know, it's a solid base. You can put it down and it's not going to tip over or move at all. You put it in the footwell of your car and it's not going to tip over when you go around corners, which I love. I award ability points. No, just kidding. Not a bad idea, that. Oh, and it also has, of course, a little widget for your keys. And that is it, the Chevron medium or large Gabrielle Hobo. Do watch out for the quality and the condition if you're buying a pre-loved one, especially if it's a quilted one, because they do tend to sag and you get a lot of lines across here. And once the top part loses its shape, it's, it's really gone. There's not a lot you can do. You, you can stuff it. You can use a bag organizer. It's just, it's never going to be the same again. So look for a good one, look for a chevron. They're brilliant. So the last bag I'm showing you this evening is a mini rectangular in black lambskin with champagne gold hardware 2022. Little Mona Lisa smile pocket on the back. Lined in, lined in leather. This I've never used and I bought it in new condition. It's chipped, actually the chip still has the still has the plastic on it there. We should take that off really. It just has that one zipped pocket at the back here, which is a decent size. The thing with these mini rectangular bags is they hold as much, if not more, than the small classic flap. Simple reason that they've just got one flap and there's the bag. You haven't got all that faffle of two flaps, which particularly on the small size, takes up so much room in the bag and no, it's just, it's not me. You know what I mean? I don't like all that fuss of getting into a bag. I like to be able to get into a bag, close it easily, job done. I think it's really cute. It's a very, very nice little bag. It's in perfect condition. She's really lovely. Unfortunately, like the standard mini rectangular, when you're five foot nothing, um, that's the top of it there. It needs to be sort of here rather than down there. And I could crossbody it, but I'm just not very comfortable with crossbodies. So I usually end up just carrying it by the top handle and looping the, looping the chain around my thumb like that. The lambskin is beautiful. You know, when, when lambskin's new and it's really puffy and soft and oh, just like silk, it's really beautiful. So that's the last little bag for today. Tomorrow is the last day of showing you my Chanel bags. I have a few nice ones to show you tomorrow. I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It's free. It helps support my channel and I would really, really appreciate it. So as usual, 
I will say à bientôt mes amis, au revoir et bonsoir. Wherever you may be in the world, today I oh God, um today I'm showing some more oh God, what am I talking about? Even though it's not the, the beautiful multicolored sort of mer mermaid. Oh, I'll say that again. And on this side we have a just did it up, didn't I? No. Is this one, which is the small mini rectangle. I'll try that again. This is a small mini rectangular bag in black lung. Oh God, can I get this word out? Is the small mini. Oh God, what am I saying the small mini for? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, wake up. It's a really sweet little bag. The lampskin. Lampskin. Oh, goodness sake, I made so many bloopers in this one. Pandled bag in lambskin. I said lambskin again. So that's the little... Oh, God. It helps support my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And, yeah. Totally stuffing this up. Oh, yes. There was something I wanted to say. If you're watching this... It's just one thing I, I would really appreciate it. Um, oh God, I've got a total mental block. If you haven't subscribed, no.